Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, how are you doing today? Another beautiful weekend at the lap of Mother Nature. In fact, today I'm at a very special location. It's one of the most beautiful in Switzerland, Ongadin. I'm very close to the Bernina Pass. I'm pretty sure that you have heard about the UNESCO World Heritage Railway of Bernina Railway. Now, if you have not, I'm pretty sure somewhere in social media you have seen this picture. Yes. That is Albula and that is the Bernina Railway. I am in that same region. So let's go and explore the places that it has to offer. Today's destination is Mopre. In fact, there is a very easy way to get there by taking that lovely cable car and then walk from there that cut down the hike by two hours. But the route is absolutely beautiful. And if we just take the cable car, we're gonna skip all those things. So that's why we will go through that beautiful road and not take that cable car. Now, as we're talking about the route, let me show you as always, the plan of the day over a map. Located in Eastern Switzerland, in the canton of Grison, and in the famous region of Ongadin, Mont Pers is a 3,207 meter summit that provides an unparalleled view of the Monteras Glacier as well as the Barnina mountain range. The starting point of the hike is from the railway station of Barnina da Volenza, which can be accessed by train from St. Maurice and is also in route of the world famous UNESCO World Heritage Barnina Railway. There is also a large parking lot next to the train station along with the option of overnight stay in a camper with electrical points. One can take a cable cut to go to Barghaus da Volenza and then walk around 45 minutes to reach the summit of Mont Pers. Or even better is to take the route all the way from the parking lot instead of taking that cable car. The longer version of the hike of course requires an extra couple of hours of hiking and additional 800 plus meters of altitude gain. But it is worth every bit of it. And is the route that I have taken today. This place is far from where I live, almost 420 kilometers. That's like as far as it gets in Switzerland. And the most of the part is boring highway. But I did enjoy driving through the Albula Pasto. There you go, Lago da Valenza. Now you know what? If you are lazy and take that cable car, you will not get that view. But by the look of it, it seems to me that the stiff part is starting now. But you know what? I have ample time. The sunset is around 8.30 in the evening. So I have the whole day to climb that on my own pace. But before that, let's explore the lake. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Wow, what a color. Alrighty, already midday and the perfect place and perfect time to have lunch. Bon appetit! By the way, did I show you my natural cooler for making the juice cold? Let me show you. That cold glacial water is perfect to keep the juice fresh and cold. In fact, this is the first time for me during summer in this region. I came here twice during autumn and I spend like one week each time, late autumn. 
I can tell you later on this place looks spectacular because this is a little bit high so you get an early snow here and when the autumn color is still there and there is a snow there as well it looks unbelievable absolute heaven maybe after this video I'll put a link and you can go and look at my old Ongadin video from autumn Okay, almost there. You see the remainder of the glacier. Can you imagine how bad the situation has become? They have put a white cloth to cover the glacier to protect it from melting away. This is really bad. We are, we are really, really high and it's super hot. I have this thin layer, but still I'm sweating like anything and it's extremely hot. I don't know. It really gives a bad feeling to me. These things will probably fade away very soon. Too bad. Welcome to Boghos Tavolenza. What a beautiful setting, isn't it? Let me show you around. Crazy, right? I used to stay here one night, but not today. Today's nest is more pre. But before I continue, I'm very hungry, so I will eat something, take some water, and then we will go. There it is, top of Mopère. Honestly speaking, these are the places that make me feel more alive than anything else. Look at it. I feel like the world is mine. Wow, look at it. The giant Morteraj glacier and the Peace Palu range. In fact, I've photographed this glacier twice but from below, but this bird eye view is something very, very different. Absolutely mind blowing. Right, we still have some sunlight. So it is probably a good idea to find a place to do the bivouac. I think this place is pretty good. Yeah, this is a new bivouac I'm using. It's a little bit lighter than the other one I had, which had like, metal frames and stuff like that. Let's see how it ends up. 
So, the arrangement for sleeping is ready. It's gonna get fresh tonight. It will be around minus one degree. So, it's good to have a good place so that I don't feel cold. And anyway, I'm tired. I'm assuming I will have a great sleep. The sunset didn't turn up that well. The sun kind of went behind a thick cloud. Anyway, this is not really a sunset location. This is more of a sunrise location. I'm very tired now. So I will have some dinner and sleep and wake up around 11 o'clock at night to capture some Milky Way. Let's see. So, bon appétit. The feeling of standing alone on top of those mountains, to say the least, is different. I take this as a cure of all stresses. And at night, when those stars speak to you, the experience can't be explained. Good morning. Buongiorno. Well, we are close to the Italian border, so probably it makes sense to start the day with a greeting in Italian. Well, don't expect too much. My Italian more or less finishes there. Anyway, I actually slept quite well yesterday. This BV did more or less all right. There was quite a lot of condensation inside. But it was more or less okay. It became a little bit icy inside and outside because it was quite cold and it was humid outside as well. But important thing was, I was warm and dry and that is what matters. Anyway, it's getting brighter. So hopefully I will get some good light. So let's shoot some sunrise. So that's it, I'm all packed up, time to say goodbye to Mantiraj Glacier as well as Ongadin. I have thoroughly enjoyed this, I hope you do so as well. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up, that means a lot to me. And if you have not done it already, please subscribe and press that bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos. So, ciao for now. <laughs>